So we're doing wave just released a dev note. I mean a dev message to us and we are gonna see them one by one and we are gonna see the most important out of all. But before that, please do subscribe if you are new for more weather and wave content and put a like and comment down below who is your favorite four star. Let's begin. And so if we go and look, they said their rover, we are giving you a sneak peek and of what they are adding. And the first thing they add is the new tuna synthesis feature. So in long story short, they are letting us to convert lower tier of tuna to a higher tier, which is a good thing because that is what most of the community ask and I think and I think they did a good job at doing it. Now the second one is they increase the Indian XP reward for unlocking new echo entries. So when you so I don't know much about it so let's read it to the leveling experience and unlock the late game content earlier for all players. We have introduced Indian XP reward for unlocking new entry of Echo, that's for 1.1. So if I understand correctly, you will get XP from the Indian whenever you discover a new Echo, which is a good thing. Additionally, we will retrospectively reward the Indian XP for the number uh, of echo entry you have unlocked during version 1.1. Okay, so we will get XP uh, from the Indian uh, from 1.1. So it we will get some high boost XP from 1.1, which is a good thing. Higher cost range for echo reward for activity point. We've heard your uh, feedback about the high variety in the cost range of echo reward by gaining required. Activity point in guidebook. To improve your experience, you ha we have removed cost one echo from the activity point reward pool. Now only cost three and cost four will be rewarded as for, uh, will be rewarded as for the activity point. Okay. So, the third one, instead of getting cast one echo in the daily quest, we, uh, I mean daily activity, we are getting a cost three or cost four. I don't know what the percentage, I did not explain. New data bank level cap raids. Okay, after 1.1 update, the level cap for the data bank will be raised to level 21. After reaching level 21, all echo will draw guarantee 5 star, which is a good thing, so no more purple. So this one, uh, the, five, the fifth, will give you a new unique gameplay style on the echo. Get ready for some fun, select area. You can transform into echo clank band to explore this area. So it's kind of a... Uh, Pajo required echo, which is a good thing. Now the optimization, they remove that stashed field animation. I'm pretty sure people know what that is. And they lower the credit cost of an echo, which is good. And they simplified the challenge and they slowed the speed of the cruise win and extend the time limit which uh okay i can see that okay so now they are adding new depth of village of realm content and it's called dream a village in the darkness which raise event reward that good and the total reward will be given a thousand asteroid, which is a lot for that new uh, event uh, called uh, the Depth of Elusive Realm. There will be a new 
exploration map and uh, event I mean and you can earn up to 800 asteroid which is a lot I think this is a small event or a big event I don't know Increase the convenient item version exchange limit in the exchange. Okay, so this uh, whole uh, monthly thing reset every update and you get up to seven of each, which is good. So you get seven of each pool, so seven of the weapon pool, seven of the character event pool and standard pool, which is good. And just planning to add the level in material double drop event. Now this is the map exploration system. Okay, they expanded the range of the loop mapper. I kind of wish they made it bigger. I mean, what I mean by bigger, I meant like I wish they added all the change here instead of only the chest. Like, I wish they added some puzzle. They can show puzzle, um, challenge. I wish they added that. That would have been better than, uh, than just expanding. Both of them would have been better together. They added a new resonator gallery feature, um, new story dialogue, and level requirement is lowered for some quest, a new combat style tag to know which resonator is what, which is uh, you can see here. They added new chat system, added a controller mod for better interaction, and that's pretty much all of it. I mean, uh, hey, it's good. I can see why they did that. W for the weather and wave developer. The only thing that I'm complaining is the loot mapper. I kind of wish they added everything instead of just the chest. I wanted them to add the, the challenge and stuff, but hey, it is what it is. Well, that's all. We will see you next time. If before that, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, put a like, and follow me on Twitch.tv slash the Alex. We will see you next time. Bye bye.